Ladies and gentlemen, we have been doing it wrong. We have indeed been doing it wrong. So I've, I decided I was going to get back into coding on the full scale. And I felt a little bit short in terms of confidence when it came to trying to finish up all these different tasks that I have, uh, especially because I've been on leave from my coding uh, escapades and everything. But now since I came back, there's something I found out. I could actually use Vault for everything. And I decided to test this out. So on testing this out, this is what I decided I was going to do. I was going to have one link, like let's say for example in this page over here for this application, I was going to have one link leading up to the employees page. I'm going to have one button that opens up a module over here that allows me to, you know, add and in fact let me actually just do that right away. So there's this there's going to be a singular module and it's going to be triggered by this button right here which is this one here um, for the creation of the employee. I think I'm missing it, right? So I'll just come in here and put it over here. And it's going to definitely appear right at the end of this if statement, all right? So of course now I have this add new and of course I'll style it much, much later. Um, but actually I'll just get rid of it and I will put it, I'll probably just put it outside or just put it in here and put it in a way that that I'll just wrap inside a div and then we have it running as follows okay so we have a button over here where we can just add a new uh, you know user and in this process of course now there's something that I've done as well I've used vault for this one and this one should be create employee create a new employee and this is essentially what I've done so check this out so I have this add new and then I can come in here and create a new employee I'll come in here and create a new employee like this and I hit save and I've created the new employee successfully of which it should load up over here so now given that it's loaded up over here with this new user I can also come in here click on this edit and change whatever it is that I need to change like let's say I'll come in here and change this to only have one name I'll save that and it will definitely have my name okay well of course I have to refresh this so what's what are, what are, what's the new discovery okay most of us are still using the old live wire methods where we come in here we create these uh, views create this view create this view and then of course we're going to have to also create their different class that are attached so now the view that I'm looking at over here is the islands and then these are the different views that are going to be created but given that this is only going to run this small amount of code there's no reason why I should not use vault in this situation I should be using vault for this because this it's 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 too small for it to be separated from the file where the UI is so that is the situation where I would definitely go ahead and use vault now given that that crude module has been created like this I've only run one route and the route is this one here vault route and this is the URI for the employees admin employees index and that's just that so now there's no create there's no edits I just put in one route for the index and that is is all I'm going to be running. Everything else is going to be running on models. If I want to create the route for the create and or the the edit, I could do that. I could actually go ahead and do that, but I don't need to because I have all these buttons that allow me to be able to actually create this new user. So what's what's that in effect? In fact, let's actually just uh, finish up on this uh, button uh, real quick. So I'm just going to come in here and do a class of margin right uh, auto and or margin left auto sorry so I think I'll do a margin left auto and I will do a margin bottom of four could have done six but I think that should be it yeah so I have this add new on this side over here but in a case where I don't have these two um, let's say I go to another company sign out from this company and go to maybe a different company and go to employees you can see I have this other add new over here it comes in based off of the condition that we have we create a new employee we'll come in here and do dr monte kremen and we'll do this email as the example and of course now we have our new our create button coming up at the top now at this point so that's essentially that and you can definitely see that what i'm doing is i'm importing this create over here like this and over here like this and then the edit i'm also bringing it in like this as you can see i'm only editing this 
uh, update employee and it's passing in the employee's ID, which is what is required. So that's essentially how I went about it. And you can see that even with um, with my UI using the, 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 the logic, the PHP logic in the file, it, it now feels more like the uh, JavaScript front-end frameworks that we have been using all this time. Because you see the JavaScript front-end frameworks, we've not been separating all these different functionalities from the UI. So this is essentially what I have done. This is what I wanted to do in the very beginning. And now you can definitely see that even our create functionalities is over here and this is our UI. And you can see our UI is so small. So there's no really, there's really no need for us to actually decide to put this on a whole different file. And if I wanted to, I want I could go ahead and create these new routes. So I come in here and do uh, create, and then we'll do admin employees uh, create. And then the next thing we will do is do the edit. And over here, we'll pass in the ID. So I'll just do edit, and we'll pass in the ID over here. So we'll just do um, the brackets, and we'll just put in an ID over here. And that's essentially how we're going to go about it. So this one will be edit. So you can see that we have all this ready for us and if i want now to come in here and just do employees slash uh, create it's there and now you can see it just works seamlessly and when i click on save you can see it just it just works seamlessly if i want to edit that particular employee that i want to edit over here so this one is employee number i i'm, I'm not entirely sure which employee this is but it could be number three so if i come in here and just do a slash and then i do number three and then slash again and then edit then you can see we have our edit working over here but we can also have it working over here which is perfect so that is essentially what I'm talking about. This is this is uh, <clears throat> essentially what I needed uh, to run. Um, another thing that we've also not looked at so much is what you can do to these flux components in terms of the module and everything to make sure that everything is working seamlessly. So in a case where you can't afford flux, uh, the, the flux uh, to toast messages, you can use uh, you know, sweet alerts. So this is the configuration that I've done for sweet alerts. And I've just opened up toast just like it's normal. And then I've just opened up the if statements over here where we have the message success, message error, message info, message warning. And uh, yeah, that is essentially what we have there. And then we also have every time that this done message is done, then all the modules should close if they are open. And another thing that we also need to put over here is the refresh rate so I, I just want to do a, a refresh and i think i can just tell ai to do it for me so do a refresh on the component and <clears throat> and it will just bring this for me so live wire uh, emit refresh component or we can just do live wire dispatch and then refresh component so this is i think a part of the life cycle uh, notifications that are there for refreshing the component and if we want to go ahead and check that inside our live wire we can go ahead and do that live wire the laravel.com and we'll search on refresh so you can see this over here uh, wire click fresh and we have wire click commit we have the wire refresh uh, we have other areas where we can use this like in javascript for example and I think <clears throat> I think this is what I will do. Live wire, and then I'll just do refresh like that. It's supposed to be a function on its own. So if we do that, I think it should be able to work at this point. All right, so it's loaded up. And then now as we delete this, we'll come in here and see it save. And it should have refreshed. Actually, in fact, I think, um, I think this is what needs to happen. So I think I need to actually look at what's uh, happening on the part of this. And then, of course, we also have uh, wire confirms and all those different things. But this is essentially what my aim was with this video is that we can actually use Vault for everything. And then we can all wrap it, wrap it, wrap every single bit of it inside one particular component and only call that one component inside our route. <laughs> inside our route. So in short, we don't need these. We just need one route. Okay. This one route is what will enhance every single thing. So now if we were to convert everything over here, look at this. Yeah. 
we have one, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven uh, multiplied by two, we have 14 different lines of code over here, could be eradicated completely just by using Vault completely. So that's essentially what I was trying to do. Like this is, this is the aim of this video, actually showing you that, by the way, this thing can actually be used for, you know, for what it what you need what what you actually need in terms of uh you know vault and just using a single page application the components and everything uh yeah it just it really helps it really 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 helps another thing that we could do here is in a case where we have our our dispatching of the message we could refresh everything right so in a case where we have our models inside this component over here on the index we could come in here all right and we could do protected listeners right so we'll do uh protected listeners and then we'll just we'll just come in here and just do on done refresh just like that such that now if i come in here and now we edit this guy from monte monte kremlin to dr monte kremlin and save then you can see this does that and this also does its thing if we change the email address to kremlin123 uh, at example.com it saves that and it also saves the email and that is done so essentially that's how we go about all of that so the protected listeners over here this is listening for all the changes that are happening and then it refreshes the the table as required so that is the beauty about using this so yeah that's generally my insight on this matter um i'm i'm, I'm hoping that this has actually helped uh, those of you who are looking to get some something out of a vault essentially and yeah I will see you guys in the next one. Please do it. Take care. And as always, God bless.